Hey, am I recording? Hey, what's up folks at home? Today we're gonna take it back to elementary school with some color mixing lesson. And uh, it applies to electronics, don't you worry. This one's an easy one. You'll need a Cypress PSOC6 BLE kit or microcontroller. And if you don't have a Cypress board, you can grab an RGB LED and three resistors to follow along. Working in electronics, you may have come across the term RGB. RGB stands for red, green, blue. As simple as that. I'm sure by now you've all used an LED before, but what about an RGB LED? One that can create multiple colors. Dog, you need to stop pacing. You're ruining the audio. You're a good boy. Red, green, and blue are primary colors used in an additive color model meaning they can be added together in various ways to create a wide range of colors. Though it should be noted that not all colors can be produced. While RGB can create up to 16 million shades of color, some colors exist outside of the RGB triangle. These three colors can be controlled individually, which is why you'll notice on an RGB LED there are four leads, a common cathode, and three individual anodes or a common anode and three separate cathodes, whichever way it's designed. This means that you will need three microcontroller output pins to control one RGB LED. But remember, it's really like three LEDs, just in one nice little package. And of course, you can make use of example codes and libraries. But today we're just gonna talk about the basics, the color blending. With the help of Cypress's PSOC BLE kit, we can use an app on our phone to control the RGB LED on the microcontroller using the app's RGB color wheel. It's a lot of words. RGB, RGB. This way we can actually see how the colors interact on a color wheel rather than going in and changing one snippet of code at a time. Simply plug the device in, turn on your phone's Bluetooth, and to and can to do the <laughs> and connect to the device in the app. Here you can check BLE strength, just like in episode 18, as well as test out the board's capacitive touch features. Scroll right and click RGB control. Though not a triangle, an RGB color blob pops up and shows you the color that we will be creating from our control. And it conveniently displays all the hex code below that tell you the exact uh, shade of each color that you're using. Did I explain that right? You know what I mean. So, move around and see how the colors change. Here's red. And green. And blue. And then you'll notice red and green, if you sit in the middle, make yellow. This is the elementary school stuff I was talking about. And red and blue make a nice pink color. Of course, there's more fun to it too. These little guys are conveniently sold by the meter so that you can buy an RGB strip and control your entire room. Like this. Isn't it so cool? That's all I got. Uh, see you guys next time.